Now with a story on recent developments in breast cancer treatment. Here's our reporter, Laura Windsor. A new treatment for breast cancer is being offered with promising success. It's called Mamocyte. Certain candidates who meet the criteria can undergo the treatment, offering hope in saving the breast. Dr. Barbara Anderson of Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs explains the Mamocyte procedure. Mamocyte is a new technique to treat breast cancer. It allows us to treat only a very limited portion of the breast instead of treating the whole breast. Conventional radiation therapy to the breast treats the entire breast or what's left after the surgeon removes the lump with a margin of normal tissue. Mamocyte allows us to just treat that limited area where the mass was removed. This is a catheter with this balloon that is not inflated right now at the end. And so the surgeon basically takes out the area of abnormality in the breast and you have a cavity left in the breast and they put this balloon inside the cavity. And this part is coming out of the patient, sticking out of their skin. And then we basically attach this catheter. It'll fill with fluid. Basically, this balloon will be inside the cavity in the patient's breast. This part will be sticking out of the skin. And then we can put in more or less fluid with this. The radiation source comes in through this part of the catheter and goes into that center part of the balloon and just stays in there in the patient for a few minutes and comes out. And this device stays in the patient for a total of five days. And twice a day they come in and the radiation source goes in, comes out, they go home, they come back six hours later, they do the same thing and this, they're done in five days. And then at the end of treatment we take all the fluid out, we pull this catheter out of the patient and they're finished. So it's, a, it's an easy technique for the patient to go through and we have them on antibiotics throughout the course of treatment because whenever you have anything sticking out of the skin, there's some risk of infection. Um, but this way, it only treats that tissue right around where that balloon is and you're not treating any more tissue, any more breast tissue. In many patients, we need to treat the entire breast. I mean, we don't have an option. But in selected patients, it's just a new technique that can get the whole process over with quicker and limit the radiation dose and therefore limit the side effects. When it's put in, the surgeon basically has to assess the patient at the time they do surgery to see if they're actually a candidate for it. And the radiation oncologist, me or Dr. Greenberg, also assesses the patient before they go to surgery. They put it in at surgery, and then two days later, we get a CAT scan to see the placement of a balloon and to make sure that all air that might be around that cavity has basically oozed out or been reabsorbed by the patient and the, the balloon is in a good position. Then that day, if the CAT scan looks good, we can actually start the radiation that very day. Um, and then it should stay in the patient for five days after that. So it may be in their body a total of seven days. The patients that we've treated tolerated extremely well. It just comes out of a little teeny nick on the side of their skin. The procedure itself is not painful. I mean, the radiation doesn't cause any sensation, so they don't have any pain from that. And they can do everything they would normally do after surgery. Again, they might be on some pain medicine just from the breast cancer surgery. And it's a relatively new technique. It's been out for probably the past four or five years. Um, patients have been followed for at least four to five years. Again, you have to carefully select your patients so that you're only treating women with very tiny tumors that are completely resected with negative margins, negative lymph nodes. But in properly selected patients, the results are excellent and they can finish the whole course of treatment over a shorter period of time. Technology and research are making diagnosis and treatment of cancers more effective, helping patients to return to their lives. I'm Laura Windsor for the American Health Journal.